I what? You got it. Tennis. Yay! I want tennis. Now you got it. Can I have a high five? Very good work. So Brandon has a condition called XYY, which is an extra Y chromosome. It is rarely diagnosed, but very common. So it happens, it occurs in one in um, 800 births, but because of um, the lack of knowledge in, even in the medical field about this condition, the symptoms don't bring on um, enough symptoms typically for doctors to think to do genetic testing. Brandon is only one of a few that are known of in the United States with XYY that is still nonverbal. Most, most children, most boys with XYY have speech delays and speech challenges, but they do speak. So he's a little bit more complicated in that regard. Well, Angelia has, um, she's deaf. So she's physically deaf, but functionally she hears with cochlear implants. Um, and she also is on the autism spectrum, so it kind of complicates it. Kind of, they term it a complex deaf child because a lot of deaf kids we know just kind of um, start babbling when they get their hearing at first, when they get their implants, and they start producing normal language and just kind of take off from there. They they still need special help, but with her, it just never came in like that. It was really patchy, so we knew there was something more going on. Aubrey is seven years old, and um, in the kindergarten, we realized that she was having difficulty with um, gaining some of the skills that other kids were with regards to reading, and so we started exploring why that might be, and we ended up over the summer, between kindergarten and first grade, figuring out that she has visual processing issues and visual congruence issues and that her eyes don't team well together, they don't work well together, and that her brain has difficulty understanding what it sees as a result of that. Um, so, in essence, she has become about a year behind in reading. Um, she did move on to the first grade, and we have been providing her with tutoring and also visual therapy um, since she started first grade and the school um, has identified her as learning disabled in reading and that is a result of the visual processing issues however the public school system doesn't recognize visual processing issues as a disability it's not perfect he you know, it's, it's certainly not, um, I love his teachers and I love the principal at the school. I love the whole philosophy of inclusion. They do not have the specific training to teach Brandon communication skills. And in order for him to become an independent adult, which is, um, you know, who knows if he'll ever be independent, but in order for him to be able to communicate his wants and needs and to be able to interact in the world, he needs to learn how to communicate. And while they can do some of that, it's not highly focused on that. If this could be possible, that would just solve a lot of um, a lot of um, worry that I've had because I really want to send her to private school if if we can find one that's right for her. I won't just do it for the sake of doing it. I 
I always thought, how will we pay for the tuition? Because as a child with cochlear implants, we have all kinds of extra medical expenses for her audiology, her for speech, her speech evaluations. The equipment is just electrical equipment. It breaks down. You know, sometimes it's under warranty. Sometimes you just have to pay for it. We have to pay for new batteries. One battery is $89. So um, with the extra expenses that you already have to incur with a special needs child, to have to fit, get out of your pocket again and send them to private school it would be very hard for us to manage. So we are meeting with a private school in Greensboro that is for children with learning disabilities and ADHD tomorrow morning to talk about how their programming can uniquely address her needs. Um, unfortunately, it costs about $17,000 a year and that's not something that my husband and I can afford on our current salaries. Not only do they address her academic needs, they address the, um, the social needs and the um, psychological needs that she has because her self-esteem has been greatly affected by the fact that she has, has, the, has the differences in learning and that she is not able to perform up to her peers. Mm -hmm. 